Hello guys and welcome to my React Native Animation series. In this series we are going to be touching animations on React Native, doing everything that we can do with animations and I'm going to use it to educate you properly on how to use standard animations on React Native. So in this video we are going to be building a simple animation from same co -cast. So it's going to be an app that displays cars just like you can see on the screen. You can see the interaction and whenever the person clicks on this it goes back and you can see it grows again. And there is a little slide slide at the bottom, so let's just give it a second. And you can see that whenever he swipes here, automatically he's going to swipe anything at the top over there. So that's exactly what you are going to be doing on this video. So it's going to be a whole interaction course and a whole fun. So make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button before you continue watching. So before you begin, do make sure you come over to the GitHub repository I will put down on the description. Click on this code and grab this line of code. So copy this and uh, come to your git bash or commander, paste it and clone the project. And let's go ahead and do that. So that is done. What I have to do next now is to switch over to the React Native animations. And I'm going to switch over to Semco cars so when i leave this project you can see everything that we have on the github repository is actually in this folder what you just have to do is to run npm install or if you're using yarn you can just run yarn and automatically it's going to install everything for you so i've already done that and i'm, I'm not going to do it again so the next thing i have to do now is to run this application which is yarn android before you uh, start this application, make sure you have your Expo installed in your Android uh, emulator. So let me just go ahead and show you that. So right away, you can see I'm using Expo. So all the projects have been running on my local host. That's exactly what you see here. And whenever the app is open from our browser, we can just copy that app, come over here and click on it. And automatically, you can see we get the message opening on an Android device. So let's just give that a couple of seconds. So I'm not gonna go over through some things. Before we begin, uh, we actually installed some things, but let me see whether we can go through it, but let's allow this to finish first. But what I wanted us to go through is the installation of the couple dependencies that we are gonna be working with. So let's go ahead and install those couple of uh, dependencies because we can't do anything animation without those dependencies. So inside our project folder, I'm gonna add yarn add, add Shopify restyle. I'm gonna add a React Native gesture handler. So make sure you install the version I'm typing down here. So I'm gonna install version 1.8, no, version 1.6.1. .1. And I'm gonna install React Native let me kind of make this a full screen. React Native re, re animated at 1.8.0. I'm also going to install React Native Redash at 14.2.1. So make sure you have those things installed. So that's exactly what we need. So I'm going to hit enter and automatically those things are going to be installing. So for the Shopify, we are going to be using uh, Shopify restyle. So let me just kind of search a React Native uh, restyle GitHub. So over here you can see we are going to be using this Shopify restyle. So that's the first thing we are going to do. It's very cool. It's more like uh, interactive and it's more like more simple when you're using it. If you're a good developer on a XML Android development, you kind of get to familiarize yourself faster with this uh, a plugin or the module so which is very cool so let's go back to our project folder so i made a mistake in the x over here i'm going to correct that and let's hit enter once more so right away that is done and uh, the next thing we have to do again let me kind of check whether we have more dependencies so we don't have the only thing we can install again is we can run add react native svg so let me just run that quickly. And lastly, for us to use the SVG, we can install Yon add uh, React Native SVG 
I think it's SVG transformer. But we, we have to add it as a dev dependency. So make sure you put a flag of capital D and it's going to install that quickly for you. So let's just give this some seconds. So guys, do not forget to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. So back in our code, we can reopen our project folder on our Visual Studio code. So let me go ahead and do that. Coming back to our commander, we can run our app once more. So you're on Android, automatically everything is gonna run for you. So we are done installing our dependencies and you can see the list of those dependencies that we installed. So right now, let's go ahead and create a folder called uh, components. So we already have it created. Uh, we also have some couple of files because remember that we grabbed this thing from the starter templates. So we have all those things over here. So I'm going to clear everything that you see in this Shopify because I really want you to understand how we can do things like this. So I'm just going to clear that. And also let's go over to our index. So we have everything there. And let's go back to Android app. Close this. So let's just allow this to finish. So I think it's actually done. Okay, let's go ahead and open it once more. So while that is being opened, going back to our Visual Studio code, we can see some couple of settings that we left for default so for the Shopify uh, style is exactly what you're going to start with. So it's very simple and very easy to use. So going back to the repository, you can see you can create a team. So when you create your team, you can import it and then use the create boss or create text to actually uh, create the view or the text view that you actually want. So let's go down to where it is uh, written create team. So for the create team, it's exactly what we just deleted. So let me kind of open it on another screen because I want to do from there and show you how we can do it. So let's go ahead and uh, create a team. So we created a file called theme.ts. So you can see theme.ts here. So the next thing you have to do is to create a, an object called theme. So this object, you can leave it the way it is, or you can actually wrap it with this create team. So you can see this create team over here. You can actually wrap it, or whether you don't wrap it or wraps it, it actually works fine. So let's go ahead and create some couple of colors we are going to be using. So you can define your own predefined colors. We have the white, then we have the color for the text. So maybe you want to give a default color, you can just put it down. So let me just give 370. You can give a color for the button if you want to be using the same color on your button. So I'm just going to use something a little bit blue. So I'm going to use 35. And I'm going to define a primary color that we can actually uh, make use of uh, almost every time, which is actually cool as well. So I'm just going to uh, define this. So if this uh, seems boring, just bear with me because I really want you to understand how to use Shopify style. So uh, over here, you can add some spacing. Spacings are like uh, constant margins. So if you don't want to be repeating margins, so they have uh, spacing. So let's go ahead and copy spacing, but I'm not going to touch the break, break points. And the next thing we can create, uh, maybe you want to define a border radius. You can go ahead and the way you just did this, you can just uh, type down. I think they also have it in the GitHub repository. So let me kind of search it, border radius. So you can see over here, we have the border radius. You can define it. And uh, it's more like the way you create things over here. So. You can always use that in your code, but what we are going to do right now is to create text variant because I don't want to follow this uh, concept over here. I want us to have our own concept. So I'm going to create, uh, let me just use leave border reduce. Let me create a text variant. I'm going to create title one. So title one is going to have a font size of 24 you can give it a line height of 30 give it a font family so
So the font family, you must make sure that you have it in the application. If not, it's not going to work. So the font family is coming actually from going back to the app. You can see we actually have some fonts over here. We have the Rubik, Rubik Medium, Rubik Black, and Rubik Regular. So all those fonts are actually coming from our font folder in AdSet. So I've done that. I can create, let's say, a description. So for the description, I'm just going to give it a font size of 16 and a line height. I think I misspelled uh, height. So height is H E I. A, li a line height of 25. So I think I also have to correct this. And I also have to give it a font family of Rubik medium and lastly we are going to create something like a oh let's just leave this this already okay we don't need to create more because this is more like restyle uh, crash course i don't want you to get uh, the misconception but I, I really want you to have the understanding you can check back to their github report to see how to use it like it's very cool then we can export a type of theme which type of theme so we can make this capital letter because we are going to export the default as theme. We can now export a columns called text. So the text, for you to create a text, you have to use what is called create text. It comes from the restyle, then it's just a function called create text. Then we can pass this theme over there. And lastly, we can export columns box, which is create box. And you can see we can also pass that theme so that we can have access to all these things that we defined here whenever we are making use of all uh, these things. So that's exactly what you see there. And lastly, you can just export default theme. So let's go ahead and save that. And coming back in our application, let's go over to, let's kind of open this Android emulator. I think I have to, open this on one side of the screen so so that you can be able to see the android emulator and also the code uh, perfectly so whenever we open our application we get this welcome screen over here so let's go ahead and check the shopify that we just uh, created so i'm just going to import from you can just import from theme directly so inside, inside the theme, because we imported, we exported all those things, we can be able to have access to the boss and also the, uh, the, we can also have the theme if you want to create your own theme outside there. We can also have access to the text. Let's go ahead and give this a try. So for us to use that, we make sure that we remove everything from React Native, which is actually cool. Then you can change all this thing to box. Then we have text. So you can just type down welcome once again. So you can see, we can just put justify everything to the center. And you don't even have to define a custom style sheet, which is very cool. And it can also align the items to center. And when you go ahead and save, automatically it's going to save all those things for us. So let's just uh, allow this. So we are getting something like, uh, we are not supposed to have any single error. So we have theme. Let's go ahead and reopen the application. So let's just allow that. And uh, we are supposed to be getting a text. We're supposed to be getting a text. Let's just give this a color of, we are supposed to get the colors. So guys, I kind of checked the issue. So I don't think we had an issue, but just type uh, maybe a breakpoint object and just add it over there. And that's exactly what I did. So all the colors still remain the same. Then over here, we are not able to see this, just add a flex of one and save. Automatically, you can see that same thing that we had previously 
with uh, the normal React Native view and text, we have it on this uh, Android application. So that's how we can actually use Shopify Restyle. So guys, even as you watch this video too, make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button and see you on the main animation course. So don't forget to come back for the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.